of BSU 7-3. Jubinville drop back pass as he gains the line. Orban didn't have any speed going, though. Beavers are going to pick it up behind the net. Jubinville softly to Orban. Oh. Oh. State and Orban goes top shelf. Boy, that's what fresh legs do for you out there. The way this line comes out real quick, gets the puck deep. Nice little, nice little play from the corner coming out. Nice quick shot there by Orban. Short side up top. Watch this work. Puck ends up getting chipped back behind the net. Bone makes a play in the corner. Nice hit. Got a little give and go type little play, you know. Three guys involved. Now, Bohm won't get an assist on that, but he should in the standpoint of taking the body, getting that right. player out of position, and therefore it gives more room for Jubinville to make a play coming out from behind the net. I think Matt Reed uh, signed with Södertälje in uh, Sweden. It's a suburb outside of Stockholm, actually. And the obvious connection would be former Swedish hockey player, Bemidji State. Emil Bierberg. Bierberg is from yep, there. Yep, he was from there. And in fact is currently teammate on Södertälje. Wow, huh? The pro League in Sweden. And uh, also Bierberg playing the role of translator for Matt Reed on the team. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, lots of guys. There's oh, a shot that. from the point and finds its way in. Sam Wendell, Bemidji State. Leads it two to nothing. Boy, not sure who that deflected off of, but that did hit something in front. Not sure if it hit Corey Ward, who was out in front, or if it hit a defenseman, but they're definitely going to take a look at that, and you'll get a you get a for sure goal here on who got it. Boy, nice play down low, getting it back to the point. Nice quick shot by Wendell. And that did. That got deflected out front. Off of Nilo goes in on the four check here for the Beavers. To the corner. Bounces out. Oh, almost right back on him. Nilo's stick, actually. George into the corner. Count to Weiss. Weiss out at center. Marashenko dumps it in. To the corner. George looking to go back up top. Here's Wacker with a shot. Redirected. Oh, still loose. Side of the net. Boy, just a harmless shot from the point. Palka left the rebound, and Ward did a great job of coming through and scooping that rebound out of reach of Kapelka and putting that puck in the open net. Good work along the boards here with George, and Kinney's out there working too, and Ward goes to the net, recognizing that shot's coming, and he's got to stick down and keeps going after it, and he's able to poke it loose and put it home. Looking up, he's thinking about Tissunian, but now it comes across the line. He'll just take the big shot himself. Big rebound, crashed in the net, too. As Brewer has kept on barreling in. And he's going to end up with it on his stick here. Back can't try down low onto his oh. stick. And another first goal as a Bemidji State Beaver. Bill Brewer makes it a 4 0 hockey game. Well, he's the one that came in and knocked Kapalka in the back of the net on that little, little rush. And he stayed right with that play the whole time and ended up getting that puck back and a nice quick shot and scored short side just underneath the blocker. Tries to make the play to Jubinville and gets that puck back and nice quick shot. And that goal sink puck and boom, they do come across onside somehow through that mess. <laughs> Orban dumps it in with two minutes to go here. In the weekend series, Elo gets a free one. Can he get it back on his stick? He does, and he scores! Radoslav Elo makes it a 5 0 hockey game. Boy, turnover inside the zone, and Elo was right there. Nice play, boy. He, he stumbled a little bit as he was coming in and was able to stay with that play, and boy, he quickly roofed that puck right over the glove hand. Watch this coming around and lose control of the puck. Elo jumps on it, stumbles a little bit, gets his balance, and Put it up top. But it's nice to see him get on the board. Take a look at the uh, the highlights here in this one, and let's run through all the Bemidji State goals. And this goes back to, well, right around the, the seven-minute marks of each 
period. And in the mm -hmm. first, it was Orban who uh, gets the first one of the season for Bemidji State. Orban gets it from Juvenville, who takes the puck out at center ice here and carries it on in. And you're t talking about Bohm's nice plays hit along the wall. It is. You know, just by him going in and throwing the hit, that caused that player to throw that puck back to an area where he didn't have any help. And BSU was able to capitalize on it. That's at the 6.57 mark of the first period. Orban from Juvenville. Both fellas picking up the first point of the season. Second period only scoring. The 7.05 mark. Wendell from Kinney and Ward. And it's just Kenny sending it back. Just a quick shot, and it gets deflected up high. Well, Diamond here, it looks like the, the, the forward that fronted him just off. Mm -hmm. Maybe his, even his glove it went off of him. And yep. Just nice center. quick shot, though, by Wendell. I mean, he just got it and just threw it to the net. Here's Ward picking up his first goal as uh, Bemidji State Beaver. This is at the 7-1 mark of the third period. Rebound in front. Yeah, that's a nice little greasy one right there. You know, you sneak in behind the D and nobody has. You know, him. you keep poking at it, poking at it, finally comes to you and you put it in the open net. Brunito got caught looking mm -hmm. up at the puck rather than taking the man in front, it looked like to me. Brewer picks up his first goal as a Beaver from Radoslav Bilo. And then here's uh, Radoslav's unassisted goal. 18 nice. 05 mark. Well, he got that up quick, didn't he? I did. I did. It's, uh, I mean, we're hoping to see a lot of this out of Radislav Ilo mm -hmm. this season. So uh, we calm the nerves a little bit here with no scoring last night and a right. little aura of frustration that you don't score in your first game and Bemidji puts five up on the board tonight. It, yeah, exactly. And, you know, as the game went on, you know, the, the, the Beavs did get stronger. You know, they did get punched a couple times there in that second period, but they answered back, and then they came out in that third period really strong. That was fun. It was great. It's fun. Lake State, uh, of course, will be joining the WCHA uh, in years to come. We'll see more of them. Again, your final, Bemidji State 5, Lake Superior State nothing. The Beavers head down to Nebraska-Omaha next weekend. Bye week out to Colorado. And then in the middle of November, we're back here versus Michigan Tech. And so until then, good night, everyone.